So we just have one last piece of business, and that involves Mr. Timothy Ray Brown. Um, so let's see here if I can't talk. And you want to pull those Stevie up? We're doing the Stevie Wonder version, aren't we? Uh, if you want to do the Stevie Wonder, you're going to lead it. Right. You got it? You ready? Uh, yeah, we're going to play this first. So um, Timothy, why don't you come up here? So as you've heard numerous times here, it's the 12th Cure birthday um, for Timothy, and I just wanted to kind of go through a little bit of history about how I started doing this because it was really kind of funny. Let's go back to not just the video to my slides. You know where they? You want to stand over here so you can see? Uh, I kind of got them. I think, yeah, you can see them there. Yep, that's, nope. Did we not pull the right ones? I thought it was uh, TRB there. That's 12th there, birthday. There you got go. it. There it is. Ha ha. So, and I can, what, click on here for this? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, you know, uh, basically, how did I learn about the date of his uh, transplant uh, that cured him of HIV? Well, it was actually at, uh, wait, click, click. Which click am I clicking here to do it? Arrow. 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 Oh, arrows. Arrow. Arrow. Well, there you go. There we go. So it was actually at Gay Pride here in 2013. Um, the advocates here locally um, managed to get Timothy not only into the parade, but we got him onto the stage at Seattle Center, and they kind of surprised me at the last minute and said, you're going to introduce him. And I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I going to say? And so the last thing it was, I was like, hey, Timothy, what was the date of your transplant? And he told me. And so I went out there and I said to everybody, your lives all changed on February 7th, 2007, and you don't know it yet. And that's how I introduced the idea of someone being cured of HIV and then let Timothy talk for about 10 minutes on that stage. Um, if you don't know, one of the things that is interesting about Seattle's ties with all of this is that the bone marrow stem cell transplants were sort of refined and perfected through E. Donald Thomas and his work at Fred Hutch, and he won the Nobel Prize for that. So it kind of brought this home that the first HIV cure came from these cures of leukemia and other uh, incurable cancers that have resulted from that. So here we have sort of a family tree of cures. So we have Don and Dottie there in the background with their bone marrow stem cell transplant. And then we had Gero Hooter here in 2015 with Timothy. And we got them all together to show the sort of lineage. So if we're going to celebrate HIV cures, here's our family tree to begin with. Um, but one of the things that I learned from learning about uh, bone marrow stem cell transplants, let me go back, is that people who survive their transplant treat that date as a second birthday. Some of them call it a rebirth day or a happy BMT birthday. And I thought, hmm, maybe we should do that for Timothy. But um, one of the things that Fred Hutch did was pull a bunch of the re uh, survivors for a bone marrow transplant reunion in 2015. And I was really sort of moved by how many people were willing to have their picture taken to be shown as a survivor. Um, and then it also got me thinking to some of the other things that have been happening in the news where people believe that Timothy's was cured maybe, but now he's no longer cured. It came back. And you can see even in the news there was some speculation around that. And a lot of people have heard, uh, they would tell me that they heard that Timothy was cured, but oh, it's come back, but Magic Johnson is still cured. So it seemed like that there was a lot of confusion about who is cured and what. And I thought, what can I do about this? And so my bright idea was to take that birthday idea and start marking the years and doing it as a way of teaching people the actual date of his transplant. Because as I learned from Gero Hooter, he was transplanted on February 7, 2007. And 68 days later, much quicker than they ever anticipated. They could find no more replicating HIV in his blood, his HIV DNA, it didn't exist anymore in 68 days. So the seventh birthday came up that year and that was in 2014 and at our cab meeting, we beamed Timothy in and we kind of sang uh, to him and ate some cake on his behalf. Um, and then when we were here, you didn't get any of that year, no. We couldn't virtually send it. But he did get some of the next year with the eighth birthday. We actually did that here at the library in 2015 when I flew Gero Hooter over to talk here with Timothy and appear publicly together. Um, so that was one of the blessings of the eighth. And then again, we did a ninth birthday, which was just our cab once again. But then that led to 2017 when I realized, oh my God, it's going to be 10 years. And 10 years seems to be a big, big sort of anniversary. And so I got the Fred Hutch communications team to really sort of wrap their heads around this and help us promote the 10th birthday of Timothy's Cure. And what was really beautiful in that article, Timothy says something about um, being the lonely club of one person cured. And all these bone marrow transplant recipients wrote in in the comments section, and I can only give you some of it, 
he's not alone, he's not alone. And they just were all listing their birthdays and telling him good wishes. And it was one of those sort of very uh, emotional things for me to read all of that positivity, especially because in Facebook comments, there's usually a lack of positivity. <laughs> so it was just really uh, a touching thing to see. And so we actually did celebrate at the 2017 HIV Cure Research birthday. We celebrated, we ended with a 10th birthday celebration. We had a nice cake, we sang to him, and we even then sort of succeeded in getting that out into the press. So people who were there who write for other magazines started to repeat it. So it was a way for us to announce to the world, 10 years cured and still cured. And it's been ever since we've been doing that. So last year was his 11th birthday and we had a cap meeting on his day. And so um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to play this or not. Maybe we'll just go skip over it. How do we get this here? Hello? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, maybe you've been spared hearing it. Nope. <laughs> it's really just me. It like That's it. It doesn't like it. We're going to skip it. That's okay. fine. It doesn't matter. So 11th and then 12th. I did this as a post on February 7th, 2007. I also texted Timothy to remind him that it was his birthday. And I figured since I was sort of uh, tagging him in these posts that he might be aware of it so he could be ready for the onslaught. And indeed, there was an onslaught, but you can kind of see it wasn't just people with positive wishes. There were a lot of people who still have not gotten the word that he has been cured. You can see this. Stop misleading us. I'm not so sure of it. Um, what's the real story? And, you know, why don't they cure the world then if they've cured one person? So there's a distinct lack of understanding. And even then, the people who understand are expressing some sort of pessimism. In other words, it's been 12 years, and people see that as a way too long. Why don't we have other cures now? Why don't we have other people like this? Which we'll find out the reason why, but I really realize how important doing this 12th birthday is. And so what I wanted to do is have us all come together and we're going to actually sing happy birthday to him. So why don't you take the center here, Timothy? And uh, do you want to sing the Stevie Wonder version for us? There you go. All right. I don't know why, you fool. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? All right. Where is it? You ready? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. We're doing the Stevie Wonder version, people. <laughs> Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. That's the Stevie Wonder version. Happy birthday. <laughs> Three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Timothy. Happy birthday to you. So, thank you very much for coming. We have cupcakes for you all to enjoy since we don't have enough cake to feed everybody. Um, so if you'll please stick around, have some coffee, and have a cupcake. We'll be serving them up. But thank you very much for a very successful day. I hope you all learned a little bit and feel fired up to do more to see if you are come one day. Thank you. Um, let's put it back in the box. Okay. Let's get the cupcakes up for people.